Hi folks, welcome again to the channel Juan here from Physical Media EU. Today we're going to review the recent Blu-ray release of When Evil Lurks. Hello again and thanks for tuning in for another Blu-ray review. This time When Evil Lurks or as the original title say, Cuando se echa la mandada. But before we start with the review, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're interested in physical media, especially Blu-ray reviews and also soundtracks in vinyl, as you can see back here. You can also find me on Instagram where I post little pictures of all the items that I review. Now yes, let's begin with the review. Here you can see the cover of when evil lurks or cuando acecha la maldad and this is a horror movie coming from Argentina the director is Demian Rugna who also directed Terrified as is the international title or Aterrados as it was as in the original title this movie I have already reviewed you can find the link up here and it's absolutely one of my favorite horror movies as I thought it was truly scary this is a very nice media book release uh, so go check out the, the review if you are interested now going back to When Evil Lurks, this is the newer movie of Demian Rugna. It came out last year during 2023, it actually uh, it premiered in, in the TIFF festival in Toronto in September and the global release was a little later, but it just came out on Blu-ray at the end of March. So now let's take a look at the, at the release right here. This because it's the first print, it comes with a slipcover, so here you can see on the back. This is an American release. You can see here the badge of uh, Rotten Tomatoes. That's a, a classical US thing. So now let's remove the slip cover and you are presented with the same cover here on the front of the Blu-ray case and also the same on the back. Here on the back, you can find some technical details about the movie, some of course the synopsis of the film and, and also some technical details about the, about the disc like uh, subtitles, languages and so on. And now on the inside we can find the disc here it's just just a blu-ray but uh, the quality of the print i think is actually very good and then on this side this uh, ad from from shutter this a streaming service that is only available in the us that has that focus on horror movies and actually you can see here in this in this paper the character of the poster of um, Atrados, as I, as I showed before. By the way, Shudder is one of the production companies of the movie and that's why you can see up here that it says as a Shudder original. So now that we have seen the presentation of the Blu-ray, let's talk about the disc contents. So first of all, the, the movie I thought it has very good picture quality. I think since the movie is only 99 minutes long and there are not too many extras in, in the disc, we'll talk about those a little later. The video source that they could put in the disc didn't need to be very compressed and the final quality they got was very good. So the picture is very clear and during the day scenes was also quite colorful. For the audio track, it has a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, which sounds very good, crispy and clear. And in addition, the movie has a very good soundtrack that one could easily enjoy in this audio track. Now, regarding the bonus features, there's not a lot to see here. Um, it's the stated back here is uh, only uh, behind the scenes photo gallery. So this is just, so this is a lot of photos, mostly focus on one of the scenes of the movie, but that's pretty much it. Even though there's a lot of photos, that's all the extras that you can find in the disc. On the setup option, the only option that you have is to enable or disable English subtitles. So now that I mentioned the languages, the movie, as I said at the beginning, is from Argentina, so the audio is in Spanish, and the only available subtitles are in English. And also, as I said at the beginning, this is a US release, so the Blu-ray is region A locked. And at the moment, I'm not aware of any European releases for this film, Although I would I would be very surprised if there isn't one is that in the US it came first For example that other version of Aterrados that I show that's a German release But in this case being that this is a, a Shudder production I'm not sure if that has some influence on how this film will be distributed outside of the US So that's it for the review in my opinion if you like horror movies definitely give this one a try one one thing that i really like about it same as i liked in midsummer for example is that it has several scenes that happen during daytime and the director still finds a way to create a lot of tension during those so i would say if you have the opportunity definitely give it a try remember that you can find me on instagram where i will post little pictures of this release and i would love to hear you in the comment if you have already watched this one or terrified and if you're looking forward to watch it thank you so much for watching and see you all at okie dogs